in this video first of all let me say i never ever imagined i'm going to be filming a video with the negative context in respect to israel again in my lifetime something i was sure is never going to happen again i was pretty damn sure that uh i will continue to support israel it's something I'm doing for quite some time now. It comes to me as, uh, yeah, that's the thing. It comes to me as, a, as another blow, basically a surprise I endured. Uh, something that, as much as I'm in a disbelief that I'm going to record something like this, uh, of course, I'm determined uh, to protect my interests and uh, warn people in the region, warn European Union officials, warn uh, also people in the U.S., set, determined to set an example at the United Nations in respect to Israeli um, well, that's exactly what I'm going to be filming in this video. That's exactly what I want uh, the message to be spread around uh, for the people to become aware. About this, not exactly so... endangered nation. Israel no longer is what Israel was at the beginning stages. Uh, I am glad Jewish people got their homeland together. This is not what this video is about, nor this video is about, as I mentioned, the region. I mentioned United States uh, basically, two predominantly, uh, two continents predominantly with what uh, is seen globally as a white population. Quite in contrast, I don't think uh, I would have to go through this, all this stuff, if I was of a, of a British, of a German, of a French, I don't know, Italian, Spanish, uh, you know, origins white, uh, enough, uh, to basically to definitely would have people to step in and stop this bullshit. Uh, but nobody really did. You would want to think maybe because they wanted to favor Israel or something like this definitely was the case. But, you know, I don't think that, that I myself would fit exactly in that category of, uh, of something that in the West, um, you know, the politicians, the, um, the folk would see as, uh, I have no idea, maybe even something worth fighting for or something like this. I don't feel privileged, I don't want to be seen privileged, I don't want to be, I don't want to classify myself into a, a, a completely, in a category which uh, basically I have endured a tremendous sell because of the category that I have classified myself because of anger, because of frustration. And I'm not alone, this is the thing. I see, I've seen this phenomena in, in, in other parts of the world. I've seen Asian people uh, getting themselves in, in a same uh, perspective. I've seen, uh, I've seen black people getting in, in, a, in a... It was not quite okay, the stuff I did in the past that... that uh, 
was a stuff that was based on a on a anger on frustration but trust me i had grounds i had reason for it i'm not the one who was at fault i'm not the one who was wrong but this is why this video this video is to alert the politicians inside of the European Union in a region this video is to alert globe to alert world uh, about what should never be the case it's really about the Israeli politic it's about the state of the Israel it is about um, want their counterparts on American continent it's basically where it all started and uh, I do have to express my dissatisfaction with this stuff because it's this <sighs> hate ticket you know hate ticket um, Everybody in the United States of America is aware of this hate tickets. It's basically complain, 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 so you get job promotions, so you get this, so you get that, so you get, I don't know what the fuck you get. And it went too far. It did go too far. I, I was trying to sustain myself. I was trying to refrain myself from coming out with this. Uh, but once I realized that is just going to be the impossible um, that Israel will continue to hunt me uh, that Israel which engaged in a terror in a crime against me since 1995 it's now 28 years since will continue to do just so by using foreign diplomats uh, to steer me problems along the way uh, is it's a bad conscience they suffer from uh, they were not willing to come to the peace terms within the last I'm gonna say at least three if not four years I actively have supported the state of the Israel its existence which I'm determined is not a mistake it shouldn't be a mistake it shouldn't become a mistake uh, that i'm saying to israelis i hope that israelis alone watch this video this is not directed to bash somebody down this is not directed to uh, express my disdain for somebody's existence or something like this uh, basically, this video, among all other, I'm basically using one to alert also Israeli society. Now, I want to alert you that when you go to the markets, as you know, you have markets throughout the Israel, and you negotiate with the merchants, uh, or maybe you are a seller, you work in the market maybe or in the stores you like to trade you like to do business uh on a street dealing with the people and you know negotiations as you know it's part of life it's the human touch it's the human contact you make uh and so it goes you if anybody know about this you are merchants you you were you through human relations were capable to put what other nations were not together it's basically a lost homeland and i'm not trust me i'm not trying to take away your homeland from you i am not the one who is after your homeland who is after your homes who is wishing you who is wishing clouds over your skies uh i just and doing this video so that your society will understand basically that too much of the bullshit is just too much okay uh, that 
the negotiations that um, what from my end I have gone and I'm not going to say extra mile but I really 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 turned my back to some of the stuff I'm going to mention in this video if I would want to go and mention the whole thing I would probably write have to write several books but I have gone extra mile for me not to video record even the video like this and it's just something I regret I have to say some of your politicians would not let go not enough um, I bitched as yesterday the day before yesterday Zelensky for doing something that really never ever should be the case it's true still um, and uh, and I realized that the, this abuse from your politicians from your aunt basically for which Benjamin Netanyahu Bennett Gantz all these people were involved since 95 and many others your entire your entire Israeli parliament just would not let go too bad what started with Zelensky I posted on my new site about this UN resolution to which I have to say uh, I I was in a great disbelief that I'm gonna have to go yet through another bullshit when I say bullshit basically again turn my back to MK Ultra torture, MK Ultra abuse, which took place, in which Israel was involved since 1995, uh, it finally flipped in my head. And I said to myself, you know, uh, too much of this bullshit is too much. What is too much is too much. Uh, you're trying to accommodate, you're trying to help, and it's these people that are taking advantage of it and uh, based on requests I got from Israeli politicians even in 2020 the, the, the requests ranged all the way to something like yeah but the Israeli woman you're going to have to marry one no. and they rationalize that because your case is going to be so big no. because your, your case is going to be so big and because of your issues in the past that's what they stated is the reason that this is just the way it's going to be uh, I, I've come to realize that uh, you're meddling into issues that you really really shouldn't and basically in other words my tolerance for this bullshit have to have its uh, limit Vladimir Zelensky should absolutely not under any circumstances vote against the state of Israel concerning United Nations quest for investigations crime investigations on occupied this is to what United Nations sites occupied parts of Lebanon this is my opinion which is based simply as you know I do support Ukrainian existence people of Ukraine existence this conviction of mine is based on I'm not going to say on a common uh, enemy such as Iran only but it's it's way deeper it's way further it furthers down before I go on with this stuff 
uh, it's very important for me to stress the main, 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 main number one issue, which stated that Israel did absolutely everything possible to deprive me of uh, during their visitations here to Slovenia and United States of America. Uh, the violence they supported in favor of Vladimir Putin, the violence Israel have, Israelis, Jews in the United States of America have supported in favor of Milan Kuchan or Borut Pahor. Uh, Israel had a clearly intention basically to deprive me of my family history. Um, the main core, the main idea, which I have actually even failed to mention and explain, is that I'm coming from the family, I already have nicely explained, where my grandfather was a secretary of resistance in the city of the Novo Mesto. Something that nobody in Knesset had parent, something doing something like this, grandparent, whatever. Uh, people in Knesset, people in Israel, Israelis, Jews, basically waited for people like my grandfather to come to liberate them. Knesset people, Jews in Israel today, that helped Vladimir Putin, that helped Milan Kuchan in straight violence of creating a Nazi. Yes, that's what you have a com that's what you wanted to do. You wanted to dehumanize me. Okay, Israeli Jews, their plan was to completely dehumanize, to create as much as possible idea about anti Semitism, Nazism and so on. Uh, the core idea about this stuff For me to stand up in favor of Israel, just like my grandfather did, just like let's say the brother from my mother's side, that was from my father's side, but from my mother's side also, who was killed by the Germans in a battle with the Germans did. You see, this is the kind of family, he was a partisan, I am coming from, and where the fuck are you coming from, Israelis, where the fuck are you coming from, huh? where are you coming from, you tell me where you're coming from. You were fighting for Israel, that's nice, you were fighting for yourself. Our people were fighting for everybody, my family included. And it's something that you did absolutely everything possibly you could have to deprive me of, basically to list me in a category of people that I should never ever find myself in, but you did it, so you did it for the money, you did it for the crime, you did it because you don't give a fuck. Honestly, you don't give a fuck about the fuck. You do whatever is convenient. You lie, you murder, you kill, you steal for your convenience. But despite this stuff, I have to go back to this topic. Yeah, your crime is bad. You didn't only steal, you did more than that. You did far more than these things. Y you knew when you were coming here in whose home, in whose room you were coming. You knew when you tortured in the United States whom you tortured. You knew what the fuck you were doing. You knew whom you were helping. You knew what kind of myth you wanted to create. You knew what Vladimir Putin needed for attack on Ukraine. Despite this, Israeli people are not there by mistake. It's their homeland. It's their place. It's what I will continue to support despite despite everything I'm going to tell you in this video I will continue to to support this stuff without absolutely any doubt I will I'm not here to go on a rant that will cause some kind of uh, discontent uh, with people in respect to Jewish existence or something like this I'm just here to correct your bullshit, your blunder, your fuck up, your rotten conscience. Uh, I'm just here to make you understand because you couldn't come to terms together with Zelensky that I'm not the one who owes you apology. You understand? I'm not the one who owes you apology. You ruined me 28 years of life with lies, with beatings, with the terrors, with your Jews in Israel pointing revolvers at me, life threatening me, in the US, in Israel. I 
I'm just here to correct your blunder, your fuck up. The fuck up of your politicians, the fuck up of your politicians, Zelensky in Ukraine, that's all the hell I'm here for. Zelensky created this blunder at the United Nations, plain and simple, so he can correct one. Uh, they create problems so they can correct them. And they create problems so they can come out as a hero, as somebody, as something that is of significance, as somebody, something that made the difference in this world. But that is just not the case in my case, not with Israel, not with Jews in the United States of America, and the least with Zelensky. You get this? For me, nobody did shit. For me, God did. You guys didn't do shit for me. <laughs> the only thing you did is you, you ruined my life. That's all you did. Zelensky one of these days is going to come out that the people who voted for United Nations resolution investigation according to MK Ultra scenario in favor of investigation in occupied parts of Lebanon On behalf of Ukrainian government, were actually somehow related to the Russians and blah blah blah. Uh, you're going to see him more and more contest the decision and investigate. And it was all designed to give, according to Zelensky, to give the opportunity to me to protest that, like a schizophrenic. You know, you tell the person first of all. Do you understand what the fuck I stated to you before from what kind of family I am and what you did to me? And then you went ahead to tell me all this shit that is going to be in for my sake so I'm going to be able to go and protest uh, loudly through uh, my new side and gain the sympathy in Israel. Why the fuck would they do this? Why? Well, you, you're, you, what is it? Israel is my patron. Zelensky is my patron. I don't remember anybody that would do anything for me, including Ukraine. Nobody did anything for me. Germany didn't do. Nobody did the fucking thing for me. Not Britain, not US. Nobody did a fucking thing for me. Why would I want somebody to... Why would I want to seek sympathies from somebody who actually ruined, in this case, my life? Why? Explain to me this. Why the fuck would I want to go and seek sympathies from somebody who ruined my life? I did. I supported Israel because of what I stated to you, because of the family I come from. I did so because I believe the Jews had the right to their homeland, just like everybody else. You completely misunderstood me. You didn't take uh, my videos and the stuff I posted. Uh, you you didn't you didn't take it, did you? You didn't understand what the fuck I was talking to you on the camera about my grandfather, about what they were doing here to me when they hijacked me from the U.S. in Slovenia and Africa and so on. You didn't get any of that stuff, do you? You think that I. I'm the one who owe what apology to Israel. That I'm the one who needs a sympathies from people. Hmm. Not really. Not really. Not really. Um, this is about the same thing. This is actually something I'm going to explain to you in continuation. I already did this. Uh, what exactly that feels like. Uh, but that's just not happening. I am not going to be the one who's going to go. And based on something I was told is going to be given to me as an opportunity will a lobby for something that it knows clearly it's a lie and will a lobby for something for someone who ruined him a life 
so that someone is going to go and return me a favor and say uh, depict me as okay he's one of us he's one of ours I don't fucking need that stuff you did not understood anything I have uh, posted on my new site you did not understood anything obviously during MK Ultra we have done it appears that your conscience your Israel your Jewish conscience is completely dry you did not understand it appears to me you're completely completely based on violence that you don't understand anything other than violence and I think you're empty as a society as a people uh, I think that you're using the so-called issues of anti-semitism for completely other purposes like you did in my case I feel that I don't think I'm the only person whom you did harm I think you're gonna do to a lot of other people I think I actually believe I strongly believe that your beginnings where you came from has nothing to do with your today and I feel sorry I feel a regret for the world of tomorrow that will accept your schizophrenic, schizophrenic, violent, uh, mischievous, murderous ways. That's why this video, that's what pisses me off because you are no longer even aware of your humble beginnings or of where you came from or how you all started thanks to whom you survive the second world war thanks to whom you got your homeland how you got your homeland through whom you got your homeland uh, where the fuck you escaped from after the second world war uh, for you it appears to me yesterday is like non-existing and you cause directly harm to those that actually really really were on your side they sided with you they supported with you and you went ahead to burn destroy their lives uh sided basically with those who created evil historic looking uh and um it's just it's just uh, a lot of reasons why okay so I want to I want to specify I want to go to the core of this thing I want to go to the core of this thing that uh, Zelensky with his move at the United Nations through selected uh, people whom he had placed with anticipation on how I am going to go protest against this UN resolution for which Ukraine gave a green light uh, while other countries even in area uh, allies of Ukraine have either abstained or have voted against uh, how Zelensky have anticipated uh, I'm gonna use the opportunity to uh, uh, increase my reputation increase my uh, be seen more as a um, as a legitimate person but I think that the people who too much repeat the same thing uh, especially people that were exposed to MK Ultra uh, and are just um, walking in shoes of somebody that uh, how can I say in continuation I will explain to you how the social democrats the, the ex-communists of Yugoslavia uh, people who sided with the Soviet Union with the, with, the, with the greater Serbia with Yugoslavia here in Slovenia proudly have uh, taken credit for ruining my life uh, and have together with Jews with Israelis anticipated all the crime they built against me that included psychiatry and everything was to be used to extort further 
to basically further the relationship they have created with their Israeli Jewish partner about in the U.S. and in Israel. So it's going to be a relationship based on crime, based on they have ruined somebody's life, and it's going to be now based on extortion, on more crime, on more psychiatric threats, on more unemployment, on you're going to fucking do whatever the fuck we say, or we're coming with ambulance vehicle for you. That's why, uh, you know, this video, this is not a love song. This is just a video to remind you who the fuck I am, whose identity you have stolen and misused, abused, and um, what you think you're going to play in my life, what you think you're going to present to me uh, under ultimatums, under lights, uh, you actually believe you're going to deprive me of sanity, of basically who I am. I'm going to go below the crime that you have done to me, below anything that human c you can put the human, and you think I'm going to walk in your shoes, that I'm going to be the one who's going to be thanking you uh, for saving him. It goes into cooperation of European Union politicians, that's basically Western politicians, NATO, European Union, United States, with the Israeli partners. As you know, Great Britain, France, abstained themselves from vote, and I think Spain too, abstained themselves from vote against the uh, State of Israel. They abstained themselves, basically neutral. Germany, however, and Austria and United States of America, and then you have a whole bunch of other countries, little countries, even voted against this resolution. They did not want any kind of United Nations quest into investigation of Israeli crimes on occupied parts of Lebanon. Um, Iran did some stupid shit that it's actually... You gotta ask yourself... You really gotta ask yourself, what the fuck, what, where do you get this, where, how, is it actually possible that somebody from Iran uh, has um, fantasies about causing damage to Ukrainian people? I don't quite get this, I don't, I don't quite, still I'm a little bit also, I have to admit, I'm in a disbelief, a little bit I'm in a disbelief, I know that Khamenei, Al Khamenei is uh, a radical, but I don't understand what the fuck, what, what does Ukraine has with a problem seen in, in Iran? That is something I don't understand. I mean, if you follow some kind of code of um, religious code, if you follow, um, if, you, if you're trying to be just, if you're trying to, to, to um, you know, take, give, take, give principles, you know, uh, I, I don't get it. I don't understand any of it. I've seen how the Ukrainian plane, even they smashed down, Iran did, and they admitted, and have denied that stuff, and then they started, after it was video recording that came out, they started to, to dispute claims and stuff like this. A tough call, but when you go and you, when you start to sell weapons, which you have piled uh, for like two decades, uh, with the assistance of Russia and with the assistance of China, when you start to sell them during the war itself, uh, even during the war itself to Russia, uh, that's that's like I, I don't understand this shit. I don't get it. Then you're engaging like in a full scale war against somebody out there. That, by the way, is not the only one. The second in area of Mid Eastern area, and Ukraine is not in the Mid East, as you know. This is an Eastern European country, quite far away from Iran. Where the hell do you get that? Uh, where where do you get this kind of idea? They don't even border on the Black Sea or anything. This is a Caspic Sea, Russian border they have. Way away from Ukraine. What the hell do you get an idea for that stuff? I, I just, I mean, I disbelieve. But it happened so that the Israeli enemy, Iran, that infected with a hatred. It never was like this before Shah Pahlavi. Uh... Basically, Iran went into some kind of metamorphosis of, of uh, psychological metamorphosis that, that completely radicalized uh, society into something um, 
irrational, not logical. It took away freedoms from people, and it's Iranian people that are paying the price today for that kind of stuff. People get beaten up inside of the Iran, mistreated. I would warn people in the area, and we'll continue to work on that. Uh, I would say, in my opinion, yes, Israel is still uh, your best choice. Knowledge-wise, um, prosperity-wise, business-wise, uh, I would, I would, I would suggest you friendly work with Israel, regardless. As I stated, this is not the the point here in this video. This is not about my going after the Israel and uh, wish something back to Israel. I am not into this kind of anger issues anymore. I am not an anti-Semite. No, I don't give a shit about stuff like this. Uh, as I already explained at the beginning of the video, I don't feel to be in a, from a privileged circle uh, of people that would eventually, that I could pride myself with, you know. I, I didn't get nothing from anybody, really. And it's really nothing that I really need. You see, that for a moment, I'm completely wrong. I was completely wrong about that I don't, I didn't get anything from anybody that I don't actually need anything and this and that. I do, I do. Uh, Benjamin Netanyahu just came, appeared back on a political stage. So I shouldn't say that I don't need anything from anybody. Um, Lucifer found his way back on a political stage. And so Volodymyr Zelensky is coordinated action at the United Nations uh, with the Israel which they have together implemented against me to deprive me of the sanity during MK Ultra torture under MK Ultra torture forbids me the right to say that I don't need anything from anybody that I didn't get anything from anybody mm -hmm. of course I did I left Israel alone I supported Israel for past few years even with Benjamin Netanyahu on the stage but the hate ticket found its way back on a stage. The hate ticket I have even applauded to. The hate ticket I have even supported to found its way back on a political stage. And what exactly do you think happens when the hate ticket returns back on a political stage? A clusterfuck happens, basically. A making of the Nazi, basically, is what takes place. So I shouldn't say that I don't need anything from anybody, that I didn't get anything from anybody, that I don't need anything from anybody. Uh, I do need to clarify now who is who, who is what. I do. The people of Ukraine also should pay a special attention to when exactly this have taken place. This have taken place once your troop have reached Dnieper River. Dnieper River for which Vladimir, uh, Vladimir Putin have drawn with a pencil map. It was just the extra troops, the extra free will of Russians that was sent overboard over Dnieper River according to Vladimir Putin alone. He wasn't even going to go all the way across the Dnieper River. He just wanted to get the coastal part of Ukraine. And I told you about the Volodymyr Zelensky being in bed, actually broker Ukraine between Russia and between the West. I told you about that stuff. So. I'm not surprised that with the return of the hate ticket, that's of the Benjamin Netanyahu, uh, such issue pop up in my face. I don't have to explain what kind of role did Benjamin Netanyahu play with Vladimir Putin for no less than 28 years, also behind the curtain. The deal. Benjamin Netanyahu, Benjamin Netanyahu brokered with Vladimir Putin was a lost Syria for the cost of Ukraine. 
the troops, Russian troops that occupied parts of Syria for stolen parts of Ukraine. Benjamin Netanyahu, Vladimir Putin, sometimes in 1998 already came to terms. Israel won it, I think it's, what is it, Assad Dam or whatever that is, Big Lake, all that stuff, won it for Israel. The return of the hate tickets. Benjamin Netanyahu, police, novel master police, 1998 and since. Novel master police, Milan Kuchan, Borut Pahar, ex-communists of Yugoslavia here inside of this house here here next to river Kirka up and down back and forth blah 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 Benjamin Netanyahu Vladimir Putin it was a deal Assad Dam Syria for the stolen parts of Ukraine I just want to alert you in this video Society as whole, the globe, the politicians here in the region, um, just as I earlier mentioned, European, as a matter of fact, Ukrainian policy should be coordinated with the European Union, with basically with those that support you, that supply you with the weaponry, that assist you against this 100-year genocide that you are enduring in Ukraine. This is, the, this is not 2000 since 2014, this is not 2022. I told you already on a previous video, this shit goes on already for more than 100 years on Ukrainian people. It used to be time when Russians were nowhere near Black Sea. They were nowhere near Caspian Sea. They have used a friendship, a brotherhood, and through such with Ukrainian people, because this was all from Ukrainian people, they arrived all the way down to the Black Sea and they arrived all the way down to the Caspian Sea. And with a system of the petroleum, you can see what Stalin had commenced against the Europe already in the past, and will continue to do so for as long as he'll be Russia will be capable to pay for this. This is just nothing new, man. This is just something that hunted this continent, not only nations that uh, boarded with the Soviet Union. The only thing that's new is today we, we are in an era of internet. We have ability to access communication in whichever part of the world with a click of the button. You get to know what is going on. So it's not so easy to just go and just do because the information goes around and you just can't do this. You can't do the stuff that it was like before that it was done to people. In the Soviet Union, sure enough, you couldn't escape from there. If you were a targeted person, you would have never made it past borders. And if you somehow did make it past borders, you didn't make it past those other borders. The news... Your news was as good as death. That was the definition of the Soviet Union. That's what the Stalinism was based upon. And that's what angers me in respect to Israel. It really angers me in respect to today's Israel. Israel today is no longer uh, the nation once was that had to struggle uh, on the streets of Europe, globe, uh, to stay alive, basically, to exist. Through this great struggle, which... They have developed this extraordinary, um, it goes beyond the relationship, but it goes into faith issues, it goes into mutual cooperation and appreciation of one another, uh, basically solidarity, through which they have managed to even rebuild at least portion of their homeland. Israel is rightfully there. It's not, it's not, it's not a mistake that you see right there, that is written Israel on the map. But... I am concerned because this mighty nation now, you got to understand that Israel is extremely strong nation. Israel is equipped with nuclear heads, warheads. Israel had state-of-the-art weaponry that the United States of America have gave one. European Union have equipment with, with super weaponry. Now, this video is not about Russians in Syria. This video is not about Iran. Um, I assured them enough this video is about uh, related also to a fate of Jews under the Soviet Union rule the 
many of which learned what anti-Semitism is. That's actually what brought them to the state of Israel. That was the influx that you have inside of the Israel is based on anti-Semitism. This video is about the state of the Israel. As much as I'm going to go straight to the issue now, what this video is about. As much as Israelis, Russian Jews, yes, talking about Roman Abramovich, talking about everyone that signs under his name, including the butcher from Wagner Group, under his name is of Jewish origins and so on was inside of this room in 1995. Very Pasca, all these politicians, everything was loaded today politicians. All these gangsters were inside of this room. Inside of this room guaranteeing me as my new homeland, uh, Israel as my new homeland in 1995. Man, I was in the United States of America at the time. But I was hijacked, abducted, extraordinary renditions without my exiting United States of America on a single one occasion were taking frequently place. Never went out of the U.S. for 11 and a half consecutive years other than to my ex-wife family to Ecuador, to Quito. She was from Quito on uh, maximum like three occasions if it was and i don't know if it was three times yeah i was i spent months years all over the world brought here to slovenia all over the place in this household here became house residence became a meeting point for the politicians from all over the world especially those of eastern europe and United States of America, Western Europe, you get it. What uh, Vladimir Putin commenced against me, I'm Slovenian. I'm no Russian, I'm no Serb. We do have a different background here ethnical language I would say that he disrespect me uh, it was just something that it dated back prior to Slovenians independence which one gained in 91 that's basically when you would have a Serb, God forbid, a Russian, but coming to you and you would be like nobody and nothing in your own home, in your own place, at your own work, it would make you disappear across the night, and God knows if they would ever find you. Maybe they would inside a psychiatric hospital or maybe on a Goliotic or something like this, in prison, God knows what, fucking kill you, shoot you. This was a Yugoslavia a greater Serbian Chetnik state, supported by the Soviet Union. And in Russia it was no different. It was completely indifferent from Ukrainian people, it was indifferent for many nations. It was really was a jail of the nations. Jail of the nations, the same like it was Federal Republic known as Yugoslavia, Greater Serbia. The same shit, that was a Greater Russia, basically. On the territories of which a smaller have existed, existed as a host for the biggest um, for the biggest one, basically, till exterminated, wiped out. 
that's all that was that was the definition so the way the way not really surprising to me uh in a way surprising to me because um I, I, I didn't know what to think about the Russians. So I'm here in Slovenia. This is so far away from Russia that we have no border. The, the Yugoslavia didn't even have a border with the Russia. Just on the other side of the Europe, basically almost, I could say, far away from here. And so in a way, to me personally, this cultural, multicultural experience, it was always interesting all through when it comes to Russians, because they associated themselves, they basically identify themselves as Serbs, I have refused to deal with. Uh, eventually, I come to realize that since these people are going to be on the picture, and there was nothing I could do in a situation as I was, condition with a job, with employment, uh, completely unstable issues in some pretty much hiding myself basically in some other countries such as the United States uh, which totally collaborated with the Putin uh, through trade relations um, I figure out if it's gonna be if we're gonna I'm gonna work with the Russians but never with the Serbs really but the Russians show me their teeth in different from the Serbs so I started to basically generalize yeah i i grew them in a say category and uh, i did so right because of what you know it's pretty much this is the policy they were enforcing as i stated earlier against everybody already for centuries not even for the last hundred years whoever have fallen under that soviet curtain uh it was just a hug under which it turned into the fumes basically ash As much as the Jews knew about this Soviet culture, Russians absolutely were aware about the Jewish influence in the West. It's very important that I give you this kind of explanation so that you understand the implications of all this in continuation a russians that signed under their names as of jewish origins that you get to read on a on a wikipedia at times had no no real jewish background they were just signing as a jewish and at the time uh To Israelis, this was of no problem at all, because Israel was all about trade, relations, business. Um, you now, what the fuck it costs you uh, for someone that see himself as such, even if it's not, um, as long as you make money. Nothing really, except make money. Put, basically take money and put one in the pocket that's what Israelis did okay I understand that um, the first thing I'm gonna say is Israelis have made a tremendous amount of money with me Israelis have made fucking astronomical amounts of money with me they were using me like you use pen they were using me like you use whatever the fuck you use and then you basically cast in a trash bin. Just as when it comes to human being, it's not a, such an easy thing to do. Because it's human, and it's got ability to defend itself. His interest to existence, which appears to bother Israel all the way, and it appears to me it bothers one today. In the United States of America, variety of ethnical backgrounds, Italian, French, British, 
uh, you name it, German, Scandinavian, Spanish, Latino, weren't Jewish community to not engage in a violence against me for the sake of Vladimir Putin. Yet it was exactly the way the violence in the United States of America started. It was like one guy that did, it was like a pack of hyenas. And I'm talking about the Jewish community, Jews. And another one did, another one did, they filmed themselves, they gave this to the Russians, they got the contracts, they got the money. And uh, the more, the more they smell the blood, the more they did. It was a blood money. Uh, once they did it, they wanted to implicate immediately British, they wanted to implicate French, Italians, everybody. And uh, they were really, really nervous, talking about the Jews, American Jews right now here, on how to get on board other nationalities and basically put blood all over their hands too. Because hands is washing hands. But in this case, they were washing each other with blood. Crime. Because you, it becomes like a shared crime. You understand? It, it, the fault, the blame is now shared. As much as money the Israelis were making, and it was astronomical, man, they started to buy the whole Miami. Uh, they were buying the cities, literally. The money was no longer even questioned. And it's something Israelis were thanking me, actually, on the side, yeah? The crime was just, it was just not stopped. And uh, they implicated in this crime absolutely everything they possibly could. Greeks joined them, and the Russians started to move into Miami, sunny isles. They, they started to their own real estate was just booming. The money was raining from the sky. Soon, sooner than not, in this newly founded homeland, it was not enough I would be brought here to Slovenia for beatings, for torture, to the Russia, distributed throughout the Europe, throughout the world, for nothing other than terror, death threats, beatings. Yeah, the one who had used this case at large was Milan Kuchan here. It was Borut Pahor. It was people like Tanya Fayon. Danila Turk, Yanis Dernoshek, those are the people from so-called ex-Yugoslav Communist Party. This is no ex-Communist Party, that they had nothing to do really with the Communism. These were just the hosts, as I mentioned earlier. Well, basically, the hosts who hosted that biggest, either Serbian or a Russian counterpart with idea, to oust, basically to destroy it, just basically leave the shell, but everything eaten on the inside out of this so-called Yugoslavia would be just big Serbia that would bloom, bloom, bloom out, and out of the Soviet Union would be just Russia that would bloom out. That was the idea. And these are the kind of people that represented those interests rather than the interests of their own people. What stricken my uh, mind at the time was also a Jewish ability to convince people not only abroad into the crime against me, but their ability to connect in a crime against me with the people from here, from Slovenia. That's why this video, that's why this warning to European Union politicians, to the politicians in the United States, to the people throughout the globe, and uh, to the Israelis, I'm going to tell you, you can see whichever way you want to see this. The previously, as I mentioned, Russians were signing their names under their names, Jewish, of Jewish origin, Jewish, from Jewish family in this new Jewish psychology. Or is it maybe, and I think it is, this is yet something we will see, maybe even in the following days, that the two 
knew each other's philosophy, that the two had already a channels very, very well um, <sighs> versed uh, Upeliano, I don't even know how you would say that, but, you know, read it, you know, perfected. This is psychology from one end, from the Russian end, even that it defeated every fucking common sense. It, it was no fucking common sense, man, because Serbia launched ethnic cleansing against four other nations. What the fuck? One nation is right, four are wrong. Uh, in the name of the same shit, denazification against some of which had nothing to, with, to do with any Nazism. Um, and it's pretty much what we see today in Ukraine, pretty much what we have seen in Chechnya, pretty much what we have seen in so many other republics in the Soviet Union, Russia did. <laughs> uh, including the one during the World War II when Stalin divided, you know, Ribbentrop-Molotov plan, Poland, and have proceeded to execute, what did he fucking denazify, all those Polish uh, officers, did he denazify them before the Nazism even existed in the world? I mean, I'm not going to say they didn't exist at that point already, I'm just saying that he created one. And the second thing, um, this Nazification, denazification and this and that, uh, there is actually really no no grounds for the Russians to to be seen as legitimate. Polish Poland was no that where where was the Nazism in Poland before the World War Two? Why how would you go and, and, and just smash the country on half, divided one with the Germans, and do something not even what the German Nazis did? Because it was already Nazi Germany. But Nazi Germany was not the one who took uh, Polish officers inside of the Katyn, inside of the forest, and executed, I don't know how many thousand, tens of thousand Polish officers. So, you know, this is bullshit. You know that, you know, you know who created what, you know who created what, who created whom, what this war is all about. But this fable about the Soviet Union, on how Soviet Union liberated prisoner of the Auschwitz, Soviet Union uh, protected the Roma community, Soviet Union protected Jewish community, liberated uh, prisoner camps, uh, Soviet Union solidarity, it's a socialism, it's a communism, we share common faith with everybody and this and that. Wonderful fable, as I stated, that Israel is alone learned is not exactly quite like this, that within this fable there are also different kind of interests that exist, and that's actually what created the state of the Israel in, in, in a big way. What created the state of the Israel was actually cooperation with our allies from the West who have given the conditions, set the conditions for one, for their return. Interesting maybe enough is that even Adolf Hitler, and them I'm not trying to defend one, but even he had a plan to create, to return Israeli people back to Israel. Israel definitely is a legitimate country, legitimate nation. Uh, it's their borders they defend. It's their right to existence they defend. This is completely undisputable. Now, what have fucked me up, stricken me about this stuff, is that all through Jews from Israel, talking about from Israel and from United States of America, knew that this is all bullshit about the Soviet Union. They have taken side of that. They started to see this fable during the war on Balkans. At that time you had war raging on Croatia, on Bosnia, on people of Kosovo in full motion. In Slovenia it ended. They attacked Slovenia, they bombed Slovenia, 
they went with the tanks, with the uh, fighter jets, they tried to occupy us, but we were too far. They had no chance, they had other republics in between, they had to uh, postpone a crime, a cleansing. What have stricken me about the Israeli people that they knew about this stuff, they had seen this stuff, they understood what the fuck went on. Yeah, but they were, despite all this stuff, they started to convince American minorities through American Democratic Party that is, in fact, in their best interest, continuation of the war against the Nazism. You could actually say that the war in Ukraine was and is a product in many, many, many ways of the state of the Israel. It's a product of American Democratic Party. This might be a harsh accusation. Uh, it might be painful for you. But such is the truth. In Miami, the crime against me personally shifted up into minority issues. Democratic Party involved uh, in crime uh, figures that in Slovenia especially were extremely prominent, such as Martin Luther King Jr. and so on, uh, actually uh, people that uh, were front line of uh, uh, American human rights, if you like, which uh, people from here always have supported at large. Uh, Eastern Europe it was not Russians and Serbs. Uh, I'm certain that supported as much uh, minority rights in the United States and elsewhere as much as uh, Ukrainian people did, Slovenian, Croatian, Bosnian people, Macedonian people, Montenegrin people, Polish people, Czech people, Slovakian, Romanian people. Do you know why? They supported way more than Russians and Serbs did because they alone were fucking minority. They were afraid for their own ass inside of the Soviet Union, inside of Yugoslavia. So much of the credit you gave at the time to the Russians, to the Serbs, you completely fucked yourself up. You completely worked against yourself. You completely lied. And you knew you lied. You lied to yourself. And this is actually what brought what we have going on today. You completely knew. If anybody knew, I don't know about others, but if anybody knew, Jews did. Because Jews came from the Soviet Union. Jews were the minority, Jews ran from the Soviet Union, Jews knew what anti-Semitism was in Soviet Union. They knew what the Holocaust was, they knew about all this stuff, but they, 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 they tasted one. They have seen the unimaginable. Also, I have to tell you that uh, when you look at the Slovenian people, numerous ended believe it or not, also in concentration camps. It was just Jews, they tried to blow uh, on Slovenian conscience. They actually completely embarrassed themselves. Like I said, I am, I don't actually see myself completely in a, in a, in a, in a category of, um, of some kind of Aryan nations or something like this white area nations and I don't want to have nothing to do with it because of my experience with everything um, don't get the wrong impression about me uh, because you're going to be you're going to be even more disappointed so uh, from my end I don't actually have something I would think that I would say wow they did for me something they you know uh, this Jewish oppression eventually ended up turning absolutely everybody against me. And before you know, uh, it was a heavy crime that had gone against me uh, from Britain, uh, through France, through all the parts around the world. 
and, and everything was based on video recordings, the death threats. Uh, somebody was getting these video recordings. Somebody was collecting this stuff and somebody was paying for this shit. And when it comes to black community, I was totally shocked. I was shocked because it was, I consider one as a friend prior to departure to United States. I used to work here in, 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 uh, Marieszka Toplica, in Dolenska Toplica, sorry, Dolenska Toplica at, uh, Friendship Youth. Uh, youth friendship Zveza Priatelio Mladine, I don't know, um, Association of Friends of the Youth, something like this, if translated, where the people from Madagascar would come and associate with us. And I was just a staff over there that would take care of these people. And sure, that I was looking forward to, to see different people, to exchange the ideas with them and basically enjoy myself with with people. And all of a sudden, uh, I find myself uh, and in Africa and with uh, these people uh, engaging in torture here for the sake of Milan Kush and over there in, instructing how to do to me stuff and so on. Wow, uh, I must say that was quite a, quite a trip, which I'm sure was, as long as I'm in the United States of America, there, you know, this is not going to be much you're going to be able to do. Luckily for me, I was completely determined to become a law enforcement officer. So the crime of no interest was to me. I know that to become a police officer, you have to have a clean background uh, foremost uh, next to education and passing all those entry exams. And so as much as it was a lot of tremendous effort that they invested in all this stuff, they couldn't somehow push me all through to where they wanted to get me to, 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 to rid of me. But what also was striking me that in the United States, it was this um, death threats I have received literally from uh, a Jewish community, from the members of the Jewish community in which they guaranteed me that if this was the first, the first that issues that death threats that were simple. It's basically if you go, you don't get to, if you don't want to marry her, you're never going to have a children. And uh, they would not explain basically how, why this and that, you know, that kind of stuff. It's basically shit that I didn't know even existed till later time when. He came to me, I came across these issues that it, the Nazis basically they were that they um, um, they surgically incapacitated women so they could not give birth to children and, and, and stuff like this, you know. And so I, I didn't know what the fuck they mean by this stuff. Um, it was Benjamin Netanyahu who claimed that I already did crime that I already did uh, all kinds of crime. They, they insisted that I already did all kinds of crime to me under MK Ultra. That it's the crime like this, that you, now you have to marry the Jewish woman or you're dead. You, you, you're you it. That's it. Bringing me to Israel and basically pointing revolvers in my forehead. Was just something... Lucky you that I was drugged up because if I would have fucking get you in my hands that time, you had no fucking idea whom you were pointing the guns in your head. That's about also the only time that uh, you had a guts to do something like this. That that was it. Um, Guaranteed me I will have no life in the United States of America. That I have no fucking chance that that's going to happen. And their predictions systematically, gradually were gaining a bigger and bigger and bigger momentum. At um, 
elite security which incident that I have described on my blog I think it was like a three tires that blew up at the same time on a highway when I was driving and this was a com this was a company entirely Jewish and they really didn't like me too much it was a really really strange stuff that went on uh, it's the stuff that happened in the United States of America to a real minority to somebody like me somebody who really didn't have anybody that could turn to for help unfortunately as I told you I don't fit in any of those categories not in the white not in a category of the people that are in that are in big numbers that can actually count on one another uh, and you know when you start to threaten me with the stuff like this when you start to engage in a kind of criminal methods like this against me you're gonna fucking exterminate yourself basically is what I was trying to tell you in the past you don't do stuff like this to the person like myself when you talk to somebody like myself think about me at least what you think about Benjamin Netanyahu you know who Benjamin Netanyahu was Benjamin Netanyahu was somebody who took a machine gun and went over there to the war to fight for his country watch out what you wish for you don't do this I might be from a small country from a small nation whatever but watch out watch out when you do something like this watch out the crime here in Slovenia was extremely sophisticated in which Jews have implicated themselves into this was extremely, extremely uh, sophisticated crime the way they have implicated themselves into this crime and that's what also concerns Ukraine and it concerns Eastern Europe and politicians as I said Ukraine have to follow the steps Ukraine have to follow the partners those that defend her existence if you're gonna have a funny politicians that will do some kind of a funny things and stuff like this and then make sure that you find the substitution as fast as you can because they don't fit on a picture they don't fit on a picture you are running away from the Soviet past you are fighting for your existence you got to make sure that people that are using the methods that are related in absolutely any way to what Soviets used to do to you you reframe yourself from that kind of stuff in Europe here in Slovenia a Jewish politic have taken completely Soviet approach against me something I was completely completely unaware something I did not understood at all I was confused because of number of lies because they approached also with the people that supposedly like me because they involved females that I actually liked because it just never ever anything happened out of it it was just taking the fucking time you know buying the time with the lies basically and creating something basically they give you a school for death if I can the best describe this politic this was like waste you basically waste you destroy you waste you deprive you exactly of what Jews have stated to me in Miami you're never gonna have your family basically if you don't marry this woman now it's already too late for you and this and that we, we give you like chance here there you didn't blah 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 by the way that's a heavy discrimination I'm gonna tell you that's the case through which Jews have made and in the United States of America 
and in other parts of the world. It's the way they still take themselves across. It's what they still use to get by. In Europe, with the Russians, they were like, like this. But when it comes to Serbs, because Russians were not going to have a lot of say here in Slovenia. For Russians to have a say here in Slovenia, they have to go through the Serbs. And those go through Slovenes that are willing to sell here, to have a say. They created a special kind of psychology through the social democrats. Now they call themselves a social democrats. They call themselves, I don't know, uh, you know, Golovich, all the people that I had mentioned earlier. They have a whole bunch of this different uh, methods, nemets, whatever it is. Bunch of this leftist, so-called leftists, they call themselves whatever you want to say. Um, their politic was based upon compelling me, basically compelling me, make me deprive myself of my national origins, deprive myself of my ethnic background, deprive myself of religion, uh, basically through the most Soviet, Soviet, the most uh, the most disgusting ways that Soviet Union have utilized against uh, its minorities, basically that the Russians have utilized against minorities, completely, complete, complete dehumanization through the forced unemployment which gradually systematically have grown into the psychiatric violence against me based on total lies. This is what Milan Kuchin, this is what Borut Pahor, this is what Tanya Fayon, Dernoshek, Potoc, uh, all this, you want to call them Marxists, you want to call them a communists, you want to call them whatever the fuck you want to call them, they love to be called these names because they were on a search of solidarity. They were on a search of, after all, hunting Nazis down. Uh, they were creating a better, not bitter, but better world, of course. And so all this shit was, uh, God forbid, the German would come to the table or somebody white or whatever. British or French or whoever that would express concern white, they labeled them as Nazis. Anybody from France or Italy or Spain or automatically, if you would not approach to the table as a communist, as a Marxist, as a, as a somebody who hates uh, Nazism, somebody who condemns me, Immediately, you were a fucking Nazi. You were not acceptable to be in any surroundings. You understand? You were you were immediately fascist. Then it started to grow a crime. They they started to to grow crime, which was based on a total deprivation uh, of 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 uh, basically of social, of communication, of anything like this. You know, even today my mother is engaging in complete silence. She She's completely to herself. She doesn't speak to me. We don't communicate. She has completely the same Benjamin Netanyahu Soviet life-deprivating style, basically. She keeps up religiously to the principles of uh, Soviets, a completely isolated individual, keep him unemployed, keep him just completely sexually deprived, unsocial, uh, stop uh, the video counter views, uh, censor him, do whatever the fuck you possibly can. The most disgusting, the most despicable ways their own Jewish people have ran away from the Soviet Union is what Israelis are utilizing today. As I said, Israel no longer is what it used to be, and it's time to update. 
it's time to update the knowledge it's time to synchronize one with today no longer is the same thing this no longer is a victim this no longer is this is a predator and it's been a predator for quite some time it's been a predator for quite some time and it's going to be more and more and more people that are going to come for prey to this crime and this crime will continue to grow and will continue to swallow more and more people they destroyed me life in the United States of America and became determined we'll do the same thing right here in the European Union continent, actually inside of the European Union, on the European continent. So it's time to expose this kind of stuff. It's time to, for me to explain to you what exactly, how, who, how they coordinated this crime. First of all, Jews were not interested in the independence of Slovenia. They had a problem with Slovenia. They want to break my will for ethnicity, for religion. They at all costs want to get me mentally uh, to Israel, to commit myself to Israel. Um, surrounded me basically with the enemies, positioned themselves within the enemies, talking about the social democrats, so-called ex-communists, whatever you want to call them, next to the Serbs, next to the Russians, and continue to insist me over the course of uh, two decades that I have no chance, no chance whatsoever insist me that Slovenia eventually will become part of the Serbia, insist me a greater agenda of Russia and Yugoslavia is unavoidable. So basically reassembling this country's back on a map together again was just something according to Jews, it was unavoidable. It was just something that they insisted me the only way for you to stay alive, the only way for you to survive is to basically immigrate to the Israel. As you see, everybody is unwilling to proceed with what your goals are. And you had a whole bunch of politicians that were not from, as a result of crime, corruption, like a taller, uh, a whole bunch of, a whole set of politicians here in Slovenia that would just do self-crippling, self-condemning, uh, self-destroying. They would destroy themselves politically. They would incriminate, self-incriminate themselves, causing themselves uh, a stupid shit, havoc, with idea to demoralize. It appears not only myself, as they example me with inside of the Slovenian parliament. There was no parliamentarian that would stand up for me. They had me drugged up over there and all kinds of shit. It basically, that for something like this, we are not going to be, and we are going to stand up for something like this and that. But, you know, on the side, they were paying pretty damn good. They were buying these politicians like you buy bananas on the market. Something the people in the U.S. also have warned me about. You know, that's basically how it did go. This is who was behind all this. This is how it went all along. Social Democrats have taken a special approach, a special psychology toward me, as instructed by the state of the Israel, by the Jews alone. Jews instructed them on how to do this stuff. Serbs, Slovenes, and state of the Israel. They gave them exactly psychological background on how they're going to burn me, basically destroy me completely, right here at home, to realize their grand plan. It was this villa in Ljubljana, 
this one here. I already did the MK Ultra on this thing here. You can see here that they started to even make sensation about this this villa here. I identify MK Ultra location located in Slovenia capital Ljubljana, which involved and involves two main Slovenian political parties and state of the Israel alone. I published this in 2020. You know, Serbia implicated uh, itself into this stuff. They they make the whole fucking sensation about this stuff, knowing that I dislike Serbs. Yes. Yeah. And it was a young. You know, they knew exactly what I like, what is it that I don't like, and how they actually going to get me to lobby for for Israel even more. Uh, further, they 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 depicted uh, social democrats Tanya Fayon and Slovenian and uh, Serbian Chetniks. You know, they started to argue with basically who was right, uh, who did it belong this to. Uh, who was in here? This was uh, actually a Jewish family that owned this. Who was entitled to reinstitution of this property? Uh, you know, uh, and have haggled in between, waiting in to see who am I gonna fucking side with? Whether I'm gonna side with the social democrats or I'm gonna side with the Yanis Yansha? Uh, how am I gonna see basically Israel? Who stole what and this and that? Um, because idea was to actually bring me closer to the circle of this so-called ex-communists, the Soviets, basically, Chetniks, Serbs. And, and this is the crime that Israeli state have implicated itself. You see, the Israel have lobbied for the Soviets. And this is not the only case. This is just one sensation like this, uh, of which... This one here, here, perhaps, I published about today, maybe this was the fucking climax of this lady here that supposedly is of Jewish origins, uh, was elected as a constitutional judge two weeks ago, and which conditioned me during MK Ultra that if I'm not going to, together with Israeli government, that if I'm not going to go and approve her and lobby for her, my case never ever will be resolved. Only if you would do something like I did, then you become uh, eventually uh, how the fuck would I say? Um, like you would put somebody inside of the prison on probation. You know, you understand that kind of bullshit? You fucking ruined me life. 28 years of life. Um, after I completely have taken masks, pulled the mask off your faces, they put you like this, somebody, and they demand you to completely get down on your knees, basically, and just play according to their piano, uh, dance, basically, according to their notes. Listen, um... Slovenes, anywhere from ambassadors to the politicians, when the Slovenian parliament traveled to Israel over the course of the years, and Israel is here to Slovenia, engage in violence against me, and in Israel, and in Slovenia, including the police station. This is no fucking way acceptable. And this actually exceeds, this actually exceeds crime of the Soviet Union. The Israeli state, I have to say, exceeded the normatives of the Joseph Stalin. And I'm saying to European politicians, the kind of politic does not have a place in our region. This is why this video, this video is to inform the world that what we witness about uh, the type of politic which I never, this, this is the, the crime against me, the social democrats, this, they have done to me in Slovenia. Basically, a psychiatry was conditioned to me literally through what you see here. This is the constitutional judge that was just elected. This is the lady that supposedly would save me, and I don't know what kind of bullshit. We have not seen a mistake 
at the United Nations in respect to Ukraine. Uh, Mr. Zelensky have made on behalf of Israel a decision, will have his officials at the United Nations vote for United Nations uh, in favor of United Nations' investigation of crime in occupied parts of Lebanon. So, to say, that's what I was told by Ukrainians, I will protest against it, I will express my disagreement with it, protest against one, uh, express my disconsent and what will actually gain sympathies within Israeli community. Um, basically, if I would be doing the stuff like this, I think I would grow what is known as schizophrenia, schizophrenia. That's what the Israel have labeled me. Yeah, that's what the Israelis have done. Israel put the gag on me. This is the Israel who start. This is the Israel who incited together with this Soviet friends from the Serbia and from Slovenia. They were the ones they started with this. They created enormous amount of crime, genocide basically against me. They built for 26 years unemployment, forced unemployment, impossible situations in life. And then based on the crime they have done against me, they have believed that I'm going to start to see, that I'm going to start to lobby blindly just to stay alive. You know, like you uh, you would take a fish and you would cut the tail from the fish and then you would just let the fish, the fish would swim and it would just try to desperately would know that there is like a bigger fish that is looking at one from below and would uh, cry for help and stuff like this. Israel is the is worse country than what the Soviet Union was, and Israel no longer is the persecuted one. Israel become a hunter of humanity, a zeal of fascism. Zio fascism is real. This is my message to you today. I will not comply with what you see here. However, I will reserve the right to distance myself. Yes, Zelensky afterwards promised me he's going to come out and he's going to launch the investigation in this stuff and confirm that something like this, of course, especially because of Iran, should never be the view from the Ukrainian side on Israel and blah, 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 blah. That's basically not a normal individual. That's not a normal individual, if you ask me. And the Israeli state alone is not normal. Benjamin Netanyahu went on to tell me that an MK Ultra will not return on a political stage unless I am going to favor one. Unless I'm going to favor, unless I'm going to lobby for the Israel. According to him, it appears to me, and it's also what he claimed, he was the only chance to save me. So you're not going to even see me if you will not blah, 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 blah. And if you will say something about this stuff here and blah, 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 and then I will disappear. That much about his whereabouts at the hospital and so on. Stuff I have published. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I don't owe anything to the state of the Israel or to the Israeli people. Uh, stuff they have done to me is going overboard, it goes past Soviet Union ordeals, it goes past ordeals in a so-called Federation of the Yugoslavia. I am not going to ask you for any actions against the state of the Israel. I am just warning you about something that should never be the case with a country that have gone through Holocaust, something that whose people uh, 
arrived also from the parts of the Soviet Union. I am just going to ask you to uh, be prepared for other issues like this. Um, such politic that uh, Israel exercised against me, I consider one as a total hostility attack, not only on the so uh, Slovenian sovereignty, but this is a genocide. These are firm acts of genocide that Israel have committed against me also in 2022. Mm -hmm. I would say I am going to stop here. I am I am not going to give anybody any advice anymore on these issues. You are the politicians. You know about these things, how the things are running, how the things work. But their politic is a politic of the Russian. This is a politic of the Serbs. From my end, from my point of view, they are engaging in war if not so evidently against Ukraine. However, they are engaging in full-scale war on European Union, on European continent, on the way of life in United States of America, West, of the Western society. This is not acceptable, absolutely not acceptable in any way. I don't and I doubt that Israeli community can handle they can cope, they can face with what I stated alone. And so I decided I'm going to give them a special attention at the United Nations Assembly, where I do want to write them about universal human rights declaration, because I think that uh, it's a fascist state. I don't think they have anything to do with the Western values. I think that with a state that will continue to prosper and grow as such, the world is going to face more and more and more dangers. If I would launch, I would launch the investigation into Israeli-Russian cooperation, for which I actually even in doubt, and that's what's going to happen, and we're going to learn about this stuff, because Vladimir Putin had a very specific plan. Vladimir Putin had a plan to allow eventually Ukrainian troops up to Dnieper River. This is where he would actually draw the line and would not allow anyone beyond. And it's where we would actually learn about his weaponry, the stuff that he had on the site, kept on the site for other occasions. I don't have anything else to say. Uh, I did wanted to warn you about this. I don't know how, what kind of, you know, um, Ukraine is at a war. I do not expect absolutely anything from Ukrainian, from the side of Ukrainian people. I wish them the best. Uh, I would just advise them that they are a subject foremost to those from whom they continue to receive assistance, help, support, therefore the countries in the region, the United States of America, uh, to pay attention so that you do not lose the credibility completely, so that the world doesn't start to doubt about your whereabouts so then you don't start to look like a banana country or something like this because of some fucking politicians sensationalists some people that lobby for their own special interests at great costs to other people which without absolutely any doubt in my mind 
will become Ukrainian people alone unless and it really doesn't depend on European Union uh, on Ukrainians but it does on European Union unless European Union member states West uh, ensures that you reserve right uh, and to your ethnicity and to your religion and I should say to your existence as for Israeli politics, this is a politic indifferent and even worse than the one of the Soviet Union. I do not agree with it. I got nothing to be thankful for. Um, and I don't have anything else I would say to this. They here uh, in Slovenia, they continued the crime against me uh, together and with the Serbs. And in Slovenia, with those who are willing to sell Slovenia away, to sign Slovenia away, delete one. In fact, they anticipated I would become so pissed off with everything that I would give away my ethnicity and my religion and absolutely everything. So, that's all I got to say in respect to Israel today. I am not going to say anything else. Uh, you're not going to hear me talking about Israel, commenting on Israel. The time will demonstrate, however, because according to MKUltra information, Israel did supply Vladimir Putin with deadly weaponry. However, they did so in a such a way that will not be possible to detect according to Israelis. Now, just how deadly that stuff is, and so on and so forth, that's why I don't want to go into that stuff when it comes to... I didn't say earlier, I said... I didn't say that... I don't want to say that Russians are going to do something against the Israelis in Syria or something like that. It could be, well, they have agreement with one another. We have not seen the war in Ukraine till now. We, I can say, according to MK Ultra scenario, the war just begun now. Now it's when we are going to see exactly the fruits of the mutual cooperation over the 28-year period. Now we're going to see basically who is what is. Now the cards are going to open. Now we're going to be able to judge not only Russia, not only Iran, but also Israel. When brought to Israel in 2019 and in 2020, I faced a lot of angry, 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 mad faces, mad. I would rate as mentally ill, a lot of them, yelling, screaming, angry. Because I guess I supposedly, not I guess, but I did. According also to other people, already have proven the case, MK Ultra case, to be indisputable, real, factual. And so that just that much in respect to those wishes you know um, we're going to give you a new citizenship in Israel and all that blah blah this last part was uh, really really important for me to declare because Benjamin Netanyahu also claimed me that if I am going to be in any kind of conflict with Israel after 2020 and so on they're gonna go after me with everything they have and blah 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 and so on and this and that it's not that I was in conflict with Israel at any point in time it was Israel that was in conflict with me all along you can go and you can see my posts during the last past few years and what I stated to you have taken place in 2019 in 2020 the fucking rage I've experienced in Israel always telling me something that you were in war against me all along. You are a hate ticket. As of today, this beautiful flag, this beautiful thing that's decorated entrance to this room, no longer is. Yes, I've taken one off. However, I will continue to support people of Israel. I will continue to support 
Israeli people is right to self-determination, existence. I know that many people would say, why the hell would you want to do such a thing after somebody did something like this to you? Well, it's exactly the reason I have stated, as a primary reason I have stated under the Ukrainian resolution to vote in favor of United Nations investigation in occupied parts of Lebanon in favor of this investigation which United Nations uh, will launch now. So for what I suggested Ukraine to abstain, at least abstain if not um, vote against one. Um, that's exactly the reason why I will continue to support people of Israel, people of Israel, the right to their self-determination uh, at this point in time. Because yeah? what they did to me is not nice at all. Uh, however, because because of other people in this region, because of other allies, Western allies of Ukraine, uh, pretty much allies from the Western world, allies who somehow see Israel as an ally, as a friend, I will continue to stick with that um, decision continue to stick with uh, the right of the Israel people to self-determination to existence yeah but at this point in time that's also the only reason why this one here however this is not coming back into this room I'm only going to say uh, to Israeli parliament and to Benjamin Netanyahu in respect to a threat on if I would say what it would be, how you would cooperate with Russia and with the Serbia and this and that. I'm just going to say from your mouth to God ears, be careful what you wish for. Shalom.